Rooney. Come on, Stevie G. Number eight. Number eight. <laughs> oh, dear me. Right. It's got to be his bowl. It's oh, either going to be Jimmy Adams. No, it ain't. Not, oh, it's on. Kirtley Ambrose. Yeah, and, and he's really big. And he's tall, and Jimmy Adams is not very tall. No, and the other fella's very big and all. Or is he that big? No, he ain't. Look where he is. must be Courtney Walsh, isn't he? Yeah, but... Kirtley no, Courtney's, Courtney's, Courtney's tall. Uh, Courtney Ambrose is about ten foot tall. Yeah, yeah but so is Courtney. Yes, I'll, I'll go, I'll, I'll he's go he's for Courtney tall. Walsh. Courtney Walsh. Courtney, Courtney Walsh. It is the West oh. Indian fast bowler. Doors? Number three, please, Susan. It's got to be, isn't it? It's got to be, James. Yeah, it's right World Cup. Yeah, he's scoring against England, so that doesn't narrow it down. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair, though, that was in the semi-final of the World Cup, which I don't think... No, you haven't... No, we've that. never been there. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, hang on, come on, come on. Like, how original a put-down is it to say to two Irishmen, you've won nothing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did actually say it to two, yeah, I just said it to you. Come on. It is? Jonah Lamey. Yes, the Thank New you. Zealand winger. Yeah. Well done. Um, Tuffers. Number six, please, Sue. Oh, oh that is oh. beautiful. Right, we're going to have to go through them. It's very easy. Is it? Got him? Straight off? Yeah, that's the last Ryder Cup, and it's my dear friend, Mr Ian Poulter. It is indeed. It is indeed. Well done, Spoon. Yeah. It is the right well answer, yes. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. End of the round, and Matt's on 14, Phil in front on 16. It's a choice of a home or away question. Patrick, you're up first. Home or away? I think we, we should go away. What do you think? Really? He knows more about what you don't know. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's not Irish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up for away. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Which American sporting event links Bruce Springsteen in 2009, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers in 2008, and Prince in 2007? Can't be, isn't it? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, 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 of course it is. Yeah? The Super Bowl. It is right, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> they all provided the half-time entertainment. Well done, two points there. OK, Bradley, home or away? Do you think we should go home? Go, go home, Bradley. Yeah, we go home. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Which defender scored in the 2006 Champions League final before captaining Portsmouth to oh. FA Cup victory last season? Which mm. defender? Campbell. Sol Campbell. Yes, it is. He scored for Arsenal against Barcelona. Okay, Ronan, home or away? I have to go away, man. I can't do that after Paddy doing it. Which footballer played Corporal Luis Fernandez in the film Escape to Victory? Oh, that's oh. brutal. Oh, I know. Yeah. Oh. There's only 23 to choose from. Oh, Keep oh, 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 oh. Yeah. He wasn't in it. <laughs> he wasn't in it. That's, it is. That's fantastic. Yeah. Is, that, is that it? That is absolutely, that is it. Yeah. I didn't know that Gordon McQueen was in it, but that <laughs> is it. <laughs> Off you go. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Ozzy Adilas. No! <laughs> no one likes to see that! <laughs> uh, well, okay. we so it goes across okay. for one oh. point. I've got a second. Yeah, go on. Pele. You get the point. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Who do you go? Yeah, home or away? Home, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who won the English League Championship in 1992 and in his first season at Liverpool won the FA Cup, League Cup and UEFA Cup? Who won the English League Championship in 1992 and in his first season at Liverpool won the FA Cup, League Cup and UEFA Cup? FA Cup, League Cup. UEFA. It was UEFA. Cup. UEFA. 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 UEFA Cup is the League Cup. I love the way he's Black consulting Black with Tuffers as if that's going to help. <laughs> <laughs> don't know, mate. Shoot, we've got to throw it out there. Go for it. I don't think it's right, but okay. Kenny Dalglish. So it is. Oh, no, we've no idea. <laughs> Gary McAllister. <laughs> OK, <laughs> on we go. It's the captain's away round now. Walk away, walk away. Matt, you're up first. Which of these moments during the 1970s happened earliest? Nadia Comaneci scores a perfect 10 at the Olympics. 
Susan Barker wins the French Open. Seven, Gareth 70s. Edwards. I know you thought it was the 50s. Uh, Gareth Edwards, great try for the Barbarians against New Zealand, and Red Rum wins his third Grand National. Oh, wow. oh, hang on, so that's, that's right. Seven. Which was the earliest? The one that's, that's going to fox us is when, <laughs> when did uh, 76? How could oh. I possibly forget? I was 76 for that. Okay. I was yeah. four. <laughs> I was five. <laughs> Ooh, I fancied some Barker. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I still do. <laughs> <laughs> well, Somehow I think you're going to win. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think you're right. right. There. No, no, I think you're right. Are you, are you sure that was that? Think, Definitely. Yeah, no, no. Okay, off you go. Oh. You're oh, going man. with? No, I did Comanich. We think might have been 72. Is wrong. No, oh, 76. 76. That was Montreal. Oh, the question. one we were looking for was the rugby. Yeah, oh, Gareth no Edwards, a great try for the Barbarians against New Zealand. Yeah. It was 1973. Cool. <coughs> that one wasn't easy. Let's see what you make of yours. Wow. Which one of these didn't happen in the 1990s? Oh, oh. The Summer Olympics were held in the USA. England win the Ashes. Jenny Pittman trained a Grand National winner. Wales win the Five Nations. I think Clos was 84, and the chances of them having it. How long did it go? Every four years, isn't it? Yeah, so the chance of them having it within the next... 16 years. Which is only four Olympics, which actually isn't that many <clears throat> for one continent to have it. Oh, he's done it again. It's not bad. Yeah, you've not come bad. up with a very, very feasible and plausible explanation, none of which I have any idea what's going on, but no. it doesn't matter. No. In <laughs> fact, it's so feasible and plausible, <clears throat> we might go with it. Yes, indeed. What do you think? No. <clears throat> Beautiful. Yeah. I'm thinking Where's of throwing these away and getting a Labrador. Fancy <laughs> 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 that, Summer Olympics? Aye. Summer Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> well, held in Atlanta in 96. Oh. Jenny Pittman trained a Grand National winner in 95. Oh, it's not the Ashes. Wales <laughs> win the Five <laughs> Nations in 94. <laughs> England last won the Ashes in 87. <laughs> oh, what a plonker, Rodney. <laughs> did so well, we've got another one now. Oh, Matt, no, have we? No. Which of these happened in 1990? Theo Walcott was born. Mm -hmm. Phil Tuffers makes his England Test debut. Nick Faldo wins a major for the first time, and Tony McCoy wins for the first time in his career. Tuffers took his first <laughs> wicket for England? No, England test debut. Ah, OK, that's a big difference then. Yeah. Um, I've got no idea. <laughs> Did, you, I've got no idea. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> no the, idea. The first six right. years, Tuffers didn't even realise he was playing for England. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I, I hadn't have said C facts, I wouldn't have even turned up, I tell you. <laughs> C facts. C facts. C facts. <laughs> this is where 24 or 25. So they used to yeah. tell me you were picked. You used to look on C facts. You used to wake up. What? I'm playing for England tomorrow. Look, it's on C facts. <laughs> where are they? I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. <laughs> We're going to go for the legend. You better be now. Phil Tuffle. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to go with AP McCoy. AP. Oh, no. One for the first time in his career in 1992. Oh, they're going to have The legend that is Tuffers made his test debut in 1992. What I actually love about it is that there's very few shows you can do right, where the professional sportsman is the answer, he's in the room, and he goes, Was it me? <laughs> Last week, what did, I, what did I do? What did I do? Your test debut your in test 1990. Debut. Was it? Yeah. Do you remember who you played? Tuffers, do you remember who you played in your in your test debut? He was camping in the next field and just went across for a game of bat and ball. That's all. Okay, Tuffers, which of these is the highest number? Oh, that's an easy one. <laughs> Matt Dawson's points for England. Easy. Ooh, yeah. Michael Schumacher's Formula One wins. Bobby Charlton's England caps. Shane Warne's highest test score. 
Did he use yeah. the kick? You're that kind of guy. Yeah. Did, did Dawes use the kick? No, he? he used to run over like cheeky little tries. Yeah, little, just little yeah. fall over. <laughs> little weasel <laughs> tries. Yeah. Let all the big fellas sort of yeah. do it and then just go... Just sneak <laughs> under their legs. When no one's looking... He's got like this, he's got like... Fake pass to the left, sneaking under the legs. I love Tuffers doing Matt's try scoring fit. Yeah. <laughs> Schumacher wins. But I mean, he could have won at anything. Well, he <laughs> could have done. <that. laughs> he could have done. Could have been marbles in the playground. You know what I mean? That's a win. That's another win. Michael one. Schumacher's Swing Formula ball. One win. Formula One wins. He ain't 100. Formula One win. Yeah. Oh. Warney. Yeah. Warney's highest test score, 99. Yes. I knew he didn't break 100. Bobby. I knew that. Bobby. Dawes scored how many? Do you know how many points? 102, 103. 101. 101. Schumacher's Formula One wins 91. Bobby Charlton's England caps 106. Oh, that's oh, a disgrace. Yes. Bobby Charlton's England caps. We need it.